Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 38th tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have studied about what if parameter in Power BI desktop. I hope guys you are clear with the concept of what if parameter. And in today's class, we will learn about one more feature of Power BI desktop. So in today's class topic is row level security. So guys, row level security we applied in Power BI services but we have created in Power BI desktop. So I will discuss about Power BI services in our upcoming classes. So firstly, we will understand about row level security. Row level security in Power BI, we can use to restrict the data for the given user. We can restrict the filters to the data access at the row level and we can define filters within the rules. So let's understand with this example. So guys, this is the report which we have created and we can see all the things which we are required. We can see all the countries data here. Let's say China, India, USA and Australia. And suppose we are working in an organization. So let's our organization name is XYZ Private Limited and XYZ Private Limited has running business worldwide. So they have offices in across the world and every office has at least one manager who is handling the such businesses. So for country China, we have a manager who is handling the China business. So why he would like to see the sales of other countries? So that does not make any sense. So in a very similar way, India managers only want to see the sales of India location, not other countries. So guys, we have a great feature in Power BI to assign a specific role to the manager so that China office manager can only see the China sales, not other locations. And in very similar way, India manager can see only India sales. So we could have multiple countries where we need to apply row level security. So row level security is a really useful feature to handle such things. So now understand this concept with practical. So firstly, we need to go to modeling tab. And here is the option of manage roles. So firstly, we need to click on this manage role. And once you click it, then new box has pop up. And from here, we need to click on create. And once you click it, you can rename the role. Let's say we want to assign the role to the China manager. So I will rename this as China. Now come to this table part and now we can see these three dots. So we need to click on these three dots and click on add filter. And once you go there, you can see the column names. So I want to assign the role on the basis of this country column. So I will click on this country column. So under filter DAX expression, we can see the column name and values. So I will simply rename this value as China and click on this save button. So we have created this role and now we will check this role. So for checking this role, we have an option here view as. So you need to click on this option which is view as. So guys, we can see the roles which we have created which is China. So click on this role and click OK. So yes guys, it is working fine. We can see only the China sales. You can also see the other pages. So yes guys, here we can also see the only China sales. So in this way guys, we can create multiple roles. So let's take one more example. So firstly, I go here and stop this view option. And again, we will follow the same step. Go to the modeling tab, click on manage roles. And now we will add one more role here. And this time we will apply for the two locations. So I will click on this create button. Let's say this time I will enter India and USA. And now again go to the country and state table and click on this three dots. Then click on add filter. And from here we can select the country. Here we will enter the values which is India. And we want to add another location. So we need to enter pipeline sign here. Which represent or 
and copy the whole format and paste it here. Control C and Control V, guys. And we will enter here USA. And click on save button. And now again we will check the same role. So go to the view as. And we can see the two roles has assigned there. The first one is China and the second one is India and USA. Now I need to click on this checkbox and click OK. So guys, we can see India and USA sales. So in this way, guys, we can add multiple roles. So let me stop this view. So after creating these roles, we need to publish this report on Power BI services. So for access of Power BI services, you guys need to create Microsoft account on Power BI services. So I have already created the account, so I am publishing this report. Go to the home tab and click on publish. It is asking for the save so you can apply the save changes. So I want to publish this report into workspace. Now guys, we need to click on this link and this link directly take you to the Power BI services page. And now guys, we can see the same report here. Now we will click here to go to workspace. And here we can see the data set plus data flow option. So here we can only see the data set. And if we go here in all option, now we can see the report and the data set. So guys, we need to go here in three dots. And once you click it, now you need to click on this security option. So once you click it, then you can see the roles which we have created in Power BI desktop, we can easily see here. And you guys can select the role according to your requirement. So let's say I want to select this India and USA. And after selecting the role, you guys can enter the email ID of that person which you want to assign the role. And once you will enter the email ID here, then this save button will enable. An email has sent to that person and that that person only see specific report which you want to display. We have applied in India and USA. So that person will only see the report of India and USA. So I hope guys you are clear with the concept of row level security. So guys we will also cover more feature about Power BI desktop. And in our upcoming classes we will also cover Power BI services. So no worry guys, stay tuned with us and please support this channel. And those who are new to this channel, you guys can like, subscribe and share and press the bell icon for more updates, else you will miss an update. And the last thing for full course, paid Power BI training and interview preparation training. You guys can connect me on LinkedIn for more updates. And LinkedIn link is given under the description box, so you guys can connect me directly. Thank you so much guys for your more love and support. Thank you so much.